we can use the local inference server functionality of LM Studio to use an open source local LLM with Autogen. This private free setup can be an alternate cost efficient solution to OpenAI models, as Autogen uses a lot of tokens. Switching to the open source LLM is very easy, as we will see in this tutorial. So let's dive in to see how to set up Autogen with a local LLM. Navigate to lmstudio.ai to download LM Studio for your operating system. LM Studio is available for Mac and Windows and is in beta for Linux. Here we download the Windows version of LM Studio. The installation is straightforward. After installing LM Studio, you get to the home screen, where you can find the new and noteworthy LLMs. If you are looking for a short introduction to LLMs, how they are trained and what the parameter count like 7 billion parameter really mean, I recommend watching the intro to large language models by Andre Karpadi. Regarding choosing LLMs, if you remember from our last video about private GPT, there are some open source local LLMs like Llama 27B Chat and Mistral 7B Instruct, which are used and recommended by private GPT. We can use them in LM Studio too. On the other hand, there is a leaderboard from Hugging Face where you can compare different models based on their criteria like parameter size or type or other specifications. New and better fine-tuned models are introduced regularly, so feel free to try some of the newer models to see which delivers the best result for your case. Back to LM Studio, you can search for the LLMs directly from inside LM Studio. You can search for uncensored LLMs or for LLMs with function call in the name or for code or other keywords you like. For the start, the simplest way is to navigate to the Home tab and use one of the suggested models, like Mistral 7B Instruct, which is, as you remember, recommended by Private GPT-2. The download of the model takes a while, depending on the size of the model, and you can check the status of the download progress. The size of the LLM file depends on the parameter count and quantization of the model. As mentioned, you can switch to the search tab and search for a keyboard and find a specific LLM like DeepSeek, which comes in different variation and quantizations. Some of the files will be recommended to you. You can start the download from the list of available files too. You can change some filters like the compatibility to see even more LLMs. Keep an eye on the alert on the side to see if the model can run on your system and hardware. For example, if your system does not have enough RAM to run a model, you will get an alert. After downloading one or more LLMs, you can easily chat with them on the chat tab. Here, for example, we can ask, what is an LLM quantization? We get our answer back from Mistral about the quantization of the LLMs and how it affects the used memory. It's like chatting with ChatGPT, but it's free and private. But to run Autogen locally, the most essential part is the next tab, where we can start a local inference server. On this tab, we get some information on how to access the API by curl or Python. Notice and remember the local path to the API as you will need it later in our script to connect Autogen to the LM Studio. Besides defining the port, we can choose between the downloaded LLMs. And when we are happy with the settings, we can start the server. After starting the server, one side of the connection is ready. And we can go to the next step and implement the Autogen part. We create a new folder for our project and change to the new directory. And from inside the directory, we start Visual Studio Code. As usual, we first create a virtual environment and activate the virtual environment. 
Make sure the name of the virtual environment appears before the prompt, before installing the packages. As we only need one package, we can simply install PyAutogen using pip. When the installation is done, we close the terminal and create app.py. In app.py, we first import Autogen agents. Next, we have two config lists, one for the paid and one for the free solution. The paid one uses OpenAI GPT-4 11.06 preview and needs an OpenAI API key, which I will revoke before uploading the video. The config list for the free solution uses the path and the port defined in LM Studio for the API base and doesn't need any keys. In LLM config, we assign one of the configs to config list. First, we use config list paid to test the Autogen solution with OpenAI. The next step is to create the assistant agent. In our case, it's the coder and has the name assistant. Next, we set up the user proxy agent. The user proxy is the admin and represents us and gives the assistant the instructions. We initiate the chat between the agents with the message, write a code snippet to check if a string is a valid IP address. As we use the paid config, the agents use OpenAI API in the background. And in this process, some tokens gets used and we pay to get the answer. We can use this solution when we want to use the latest models from OpenAI and it's worth paying for the answer. There are some solutions where this is not necessary and we can simply use a free open source local private model to get the answer. Especially as Autogen uses a lot of tokens and some conversation repeat themselves. To switch to the free solution, we simply change the config list from paid to free. This time, Autogen uses the local free LLM Mistral from LM Studio. As you can see, the LM Studio server starts logging the communication. Normally, it takes more time to get the answer, but this is highly depending on your hardware configuration. When the answer comes back, we can check and compare the answers to OpenAI and see how the local LLM performs. You can go to the LM Studio logs and get more information about the answer provided by the local LLM. If the local LLM is fine-tuned on our particular subject, it may be better than the paid model. There are always cases where you need to get the best answer and are willing to pay for the answer. But there are still situations where open source solution is good enough or even better than expected. Keep in mind, there are many ways to run Autogen locally. It depends on your device and the OS. LM Studio is a simple solution for Windows and Mac. Olama is another solution for Mac and Linux, which we will cover in upcoming videos. If you check the Autogen block, it uses another solution with fast chat. Whatever solution you choose, it's important to know that you can use Autogen locally for free with some open source LLMs. And in some cases, you may even get better results. Good luck running Autogen for free.